Hey everyone, welcome back to Ali Bakes. I'm Eliza Saw, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make super easy mango recipes for every mango lover. I'm Filipino, so you can tell I love mangoes. I'm gonna show you how to make mango pie, mango cheesecake, and mango mousse. If you wanna see how I make these, then just keep on watching, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I do food and baking related videos every single week, so let's get started. Did I ask you to subscribe already? I don't remember. Q intro. Boom. The first thing I'm actually going to make is the mango pie. This one takes a little bit of prep work because you do need to make the pie dough, but it's super easy. All I did was take some flour, salt, butter, put it in a food processor, blitzed it up, and then added some cold water. And then I just set it in the freezer for about an hour and I got started on everything else. But to make the filling, which is the most important part, you are going to need about 300 grams of mango. So the type of mango that I'm using is the Carabao mango or the Filipino mango. Fact check, Carab Carabao, yeah. Anyways, this is my favorite type of mango and I bought a whole box with my fiance the other day. <laughs> First thing I did was make a cake order with these, but because I have a whole box left over, might as well put it to good use, right? By the way, the cake tutorial for this cake is coming up soon, so stay tuned. Sorry, back to the mango pie filling. You're going to need about 300 grams of mango. I just cut up my mangoes in thirds, scooped out the flesh, cut it into chunks, cut off the excess on the seeds, and then put it aside. You're just, you're gonna need a bunch of mangoes for this. If you don't have the patience to cut up mangoes, frozen will work as well. But I prefer this kind of mango and fresh. To this, we're going to add some sugar and a little bit of flour. And we're just going to put it into a saucepan, cook it up until it's nice and juicy. We're gonna blitz it up a little bit with my hand blender. And then we're going to cook it again a little bit until it's nice and thick. and then we'll set it aside into a bowl with some plastic wrap right on top so it doesn't form a skin as it cools and then set it aside or in the fridge. So after everything is done, chilling and freezing, what we're going to do is roll out our pie dough. I'm just gonna roll it out into a rectangle, cut off the sides and the edges, and then we're going to cut it up into rectangles. And I'm going to try and make about 12 pies. So I'm gonna need about 24 rectangles for the top and bottom. For the bottom part, I'm just gonna lay them all out and then I'm gonna scoop some mango filling between each pie. Make sure to keep it away from the edges so that as it bakes, it doesn't explode. But I did get a little explosions. I will, we'll get back to that. Keep the filling in the middle of the pie. Take some egg wash, which is just some beaten egg, and then place it around the edges of the pie. And then we're gonna take our other pie dough rectangles and then just place it on top. Make sure to do your best to seal in all that filling. So if it means stretching up the top a little bit, by all means, go for it. So we're just going to stretch it, place it, and seal the edges with a fork or crimp. Seal or crimp, either word works. And if you wanna keep it more homey looking, you can keep it like this. But if you want to make it a little more professional looking, you can take a pizza cutter or a pastry cutter and then just chop off the edges to keep it nice and straight. This is what I used to do when I worked at that pie bakery. And then we're just going to cut in some ventilation holes with some scissors. I find this is the most easiest and efficient way is just to take a pair of scissors, snip three holes into it, and then set it aside. We're going to put it into the fridge to let it chill while the oven preheats to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the oven is ready, we're just going to pop these pies in and bake them for about 20 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown on top and bottom. And that is how you make a mango pie. Mm, mm, mm. Side note, this is adapted from my mango peach pie recipe. So if you wanna make a mango peach pie and go all Jollibee without the deep frying, <laughs> I will link that somewhere. But 
it's delicious with just the mango when my sister tried it she was like i'm definitely not missing the peach and i consider that a win so next recipe now we're going to make mango cheesecakes mm -mm -mm. so when i was making this i thought about doing a graham crust as you would do for most cheesecakes however i feel like i was in the mood to mix things up make it a little more tropical so for my crust i'm going to be using some coconut that i've just shredded up into a fine powder and then i'm also going to use some almond flour and to that i'm going to add some sugar and some butter and give it a good mix so that it's nice and crumbly and then we're just going to spoon it into a cupcake tray with some cupcake liners take a bottom of a flat glass or anything that's sort of flat and then just pack it down and then we can make our cheesecake filling so i'm going to take some cream cheese cream it with some sugar add a little bit of flour and then add in an egg and we're just going to give this a good mix and then lastly we're going to add in about 50 grams of mango puree and to make this mango puree i just took some fresh mango that i chopped up earlier put it into a food processor until it was nice and smooth oh and i also added a little bit of lemon juice to keep that citric acidy taste and to uplift the mango flavor so I'm gonna take about 50 grams of that mix it into our cheesecake batter and then we're just going to use an ice cream scoop to scoop the batter into the cupcake tins and this will just give you a nice and even cupcake tray so this is a small recipe it makes about six to seven cheesecakes they are all mini but very dense and super delicious so if you want to make more feel free to just double it but what we're going to do is just pop this into the oven at 350 degrees fahrenheit we're going to bake these cheesecakes for about 12 to 15 minutes watch it make sure it doesn't rise too much because then it will start to crack but as you can see it's like nice and puffed up and slightly jiggly when you shake it and that's when you know it's ready to go we're gonna take it out of the oven just let it cool at room temperature for about an hour or so and then you can pop it into the fridge for another hour or so until it's completely chilled and that's when it'll be nice and thick and custardy and just dense and delicious and if you want to add some decorations, I'm using some freshly whipped cream, 35% fat. I just whipped it up by hand and we're just going to pipe it with a piping bag and plain tip. And then we're just gonna add some mango chunks. And that is how I'm decorating it, but you can decorate it any way you like. You don't even have to decorate it. That's how good it is. And that is the mango cheesecake done. So good. I especially love the way the coconut and almond crust really just accentuates that mango flavor. These cheesecakes were actually even better the day after I made them because they were so chilled and so set. Ugh, just delicious. Next recipe. Now I'm going to show you how to make a mango mousse. Oh, I just kicked something. So to make this mango mousse, you're going to need about 227 grams of mango puree, again, a quarter cup of sugar, and a gram of salt. And then on the side, I've got some whipped cream, again, 35% fat, but this time I did not hand whip it because it's a lot. I used my stand mixer and the whisk attachment instead. But it's about one cup of whipping cream, whipped, set it aside, keep it in the fridge while we make everything else. And then I've also got some bloomed gelatin. I'm using gelatin sheets. You can use powdered gelatin. I will have the substitutions in the blog post in the description box below if you want to see the details. But I'm just going to bloom this by putting it in some cold water as I get the saucepan up to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil on medium heat, we're just going to take it off squeeze out the excess water in our gelatin and then add it to our saucepan. So we're just gonna mix this until the gelatin dissolves and then we can let it cool a little bit, transfer it to another bowl, maybe just let it cool so that it's not super hot because then we can start adding in our whipped cream. So I'm gonna let this cool to about like 30 degrees Celsius don't have to check just like touch the side of bowl see if it's hot if you don't feel like grabbing a thermometer but then we're going to add our whipped cream fold in about a third to really lighten it up and 
and then add in the two thirds to finish folding. And if you haven't seen my strawberry matcha sponge cake video, to do a fold, you go around and under and up, and then around and under and up, and then around. And then once that's fully folded in, we're just going to put it into a piping bag with a plain tip attached and we're just going to pipe it in some ice cream bowls or glass bowls. You could use wine glasses, get fancy with your dinnerware, use whatever you like. And we're just going to pipe it until it's about two thirds full. So once they're all piped in, we're just going to put it into the fridge to set for about an hour or so. It was really hot on the day that I made these, so I let them chill for a while. But to top it, we're just gonna take some condensed milk, put about two teaspoons above, and then add in some fresh mango chunks. If you're not a fan of condensed milk, you can use evaporated milk as well. Or if you're not a fan of that, you can use whipping cream. But as you can see, the texture is nice, fluffy, airy, not too sweet, even with the addition of the condensed milk. And it is just so delicious, especially with the addition of the fresh mango chunks. <sighs> so that is it. That is how you make these three simple mango desserts. So delicious, so good. Let me know if you try it out. If you do, take some photos, tag me at Ali Saw on Instagram. I'd love to see. What type of desserts would you like me to do next? You can leave some suggestions in the comments below. Ask me any questions you may have about baking, desserts, or me, and I will answer them. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I will see you all next week. Bye. So you can tell, I love mangoes. <laughs>